Welcome to Reef Diary, day 45. So today was day two of Macna, and so I got to enjoy that all day long. But when it came time for evening, I decided to open up the turf scrubber and see where we are. The growth in there was incredible, and I feel like I just peeled out a bunch of algae about a week ago. I didn't look at the date, but it's on there, it's on the screen, it's coming out toward the box itself. The box is full. Look at how pretty that hair algae is. <laughs> it still cracks me up when I say that out loud. I mean, whoever cares about hair algae, but look, it's growing like it's supposed to. It's taking out nutrients. Well, it is when I peel it off the screen. So I pulled off everything manually. I didn't scrub it down to nothing. I, again, I'm being cautious. And I pulled out like a pound and a half of hair algae tonight. The filter sock, it's a mesh bag that hangs under there, catches anything that may fall. And usually it's just covered in vermitids, but uh, it hasn't had any algae in there, which is great. There's one of those vermitids up close. Uh, the mesh bag is really easy. I can just rub it back and forth together against itself in the sink. It comes completely clean. And I put it back under my turf scrubber so that if any algae were to fall out, it lands in here and doesn't get back into my reef somehow. Nitrates seem to be measuring about 10. I know people are going to debate that, so I grabbed a different test kit. But look, it looks weird when it's on the card. But if I lift it up, I can kind of see the color change. And you know, it kind of looks more like 10. So I think Elos and API agree. And for tonight, I thought we'd wrap up the video with some nice footage of the tank itself and then give you an update on the hammers. So here's the anemone cube, which in case you aren't aware, is tied into the 400 gallon reef. So they all share the same body of water. And you can see a bunch of fish if you look. There's a lot of clownfish in there. And a lot of times people don't realize how many are there because they see all the tentacles. People ask me lots of questions about this tank, and I try to answer them on a regular basis. But basically, it's a very easy tank for me to maintain. It's running under a Radeon Gen 4 Pro. There's some XHO lighting to supplement. I feed the tank once every night, and I just feed the fish. The reef itself, here we go. Let's take a look at some things up close. So this little chalice here is starting to show hints of green in multiple spots, maybe like a dozen. That's a great sign. I'm really happy to see it. The overall look of the reef looks really nice. Uh, there, things are doing really well. The Duncans continue to be completely unaffected. The hammers seem to be doing well, though I'd like to see them be more bold and rich in color. That A can in the bottom foreground looks fantastic. The anemone looks completely normal. The cactus pavona seems totally fine. The forest fire digitata is glowing right there above the lithophylon but that chalice down to its left doesn't look very good, so I'm hoping it will get more and more color in it. Over here on the left side of the tank, we've got the Drew Zacro looking great. Those Lobos look beautiful and vivid. The Pagoda Cup is doing well. The Shadowcaster Acro is hanging in there. So we have a good overview of the front of the tank. Let's go check out the back. Now the back of the tank doesn't have any kind of light shield, so we have a little bit of an overspray of blue lighting here. But let's take a look at these hammers that were planted here yesterday. They're actually looking quite well, considering they've been in the system less than 24 hours. I don't really know how big they're going to get. I expect them to probably double in size. Uh, the actual heads should fluff up quite a bit more. But I didn't see them how they looked in the tank previously that they came from. Other maintenance that I did today, I had to deal with the protein skimmer and the frag system continues to overflow. So I cleaned out the cup twice reset it, readjusted the water line inside the body. That seems to have settled down. I switched out the reagent A for the trident, which is what measures my alkalinity four times a day. And I fed the fish, of course, and I cleaned the glass. And uh, my tests for Saturday came out really good with uh, alkalinity still at 10. Calcium was 450, magnesium was 1450. Uh, I didn't measure potassium. I didn't fight that kit today. <laughs> Phosphates measured 0 0.05 because I dosed Phosphate Rx last night, so they are exactly where they need to be. I'm very happy with that number as well. This little chalice hiding in a shaded spot is showing some green spots, which is another good sign that that coral is going to regain its original color. And this one chalice, I had triple the size. I'm down to this little piece because a big chunk was in the frag tank that died over there. But give it some more time and it'll come back and look just as nice as it did before.